Hello, everyone. This is Heading Tian. Today, we will learn the chapter 11.5, probability with the fundamental counting principle, permutations, and the combinations. Uh, here, we will uh, learn some definitions. The first one, when working problems involving probability with permutations, the denominator of the probability fraction consists of a total number of possible uh, permutations. The meaning of that is if the probability of my event E uh, uh, we solve this uh, probability problems with permutations. The bottom part must be the uh, possible permutations, uh, the total number of possible permutation, uh, permutations. That is NPR. The top part is the number of the event E could occur. And uh, let's review the uh, definition of uh, NPR. That means from N items, I choose R items from N and I need to order the R in different ways. So the, um, uh, the order matters. Uh, the formula of NPR equals N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. Uh, how about uh, NPN? Uh, so NPN use the formula I got N factorial over N minus N factorial equals N factorial divided by zero factorial. Zero factorial equals one. That is N factorial, which means if I have five, uh, if I have five options, I need to arrange, uh, I need to choose five from five. And then I arrange, arrange them, I got five factorial. So that means if I have five items, different items, maybe like this, like this, like this, they are different. Uh, I need to order them differently in how many different ways. Um, so I don't need to choose five uh, from how many number, oh, that means I just have five and I have five of them. I need to order them differently. I have five, five factorial, uh, five factorial ways to order five of them. Okay, let's move on. Uh, the next one is uh, one working problems involving probability with the combinations. The denominators of the probability fractions consist of total number of possible combinations. And that means the P of E, the bottom part need to be N C R. And the top part is the number of the E, the E event, event can occur, the number of E event occur. So let's do a review of uh, NCR. That means I have N items. I choose R from N without to uh, order them in different way. I just uh, take R items from N. So order doesn't matter. The uh, formula of NCR equals N factorial over N minus R factorial times R factorial. Okay, let's see some examples. The first example, A, B, C, D have all uh, been visited to a dinner party. They arrive randomly and each person arrives at a different time. Uh, that means I need to order uh, four of them in different ways. Uh, so number A, in how many ways can they arrive? 
So that means they arrive in different time. So order them differently. That's the meaning of uh, oh, four of them. That means four factorial. Uh, you can also use the counting principles. You have four positions become different time. The first of what, first position, I have four choices. Uh, next one, I have three choices. Next one, I have two choices. I have one choices and multiply them together. Uh, so four factorial equals 12. Oh, sorry, 24, 24. Uh, next one. In how many ways can A arrive first and B arrive last? So A arrive first, B arrive last, A and B. So for the first position, I have only one choice. Last position, I have only one choice. And uh, uh, right now, C and D, they can uh, be ordered randomly. So this position, the second position, I have two choice. And next position, I have one choice. Multiply them together equals two. That means in two ways, can A arrive first and B arrive last. Next one, C, question C. Find the, the probability that A arrive first and B arrive last. Oh, find the probability probabilities of this event occur equals the n of the e n of the e that uh, that's the number of the way a arrive first b arrive last we already find it from the part b and the sample space number n of s equals uh, 2 over sample space number equals four factorial. So two over four times three times two times one equals one over 12. Okay, let's move on. Uh, examples two, uh, six stand-up comics, A, B, C, D, E, F are to perform on single evening at the comedy club, the order of performance is determined by random selection. So this question mentioned about order, that's will relate it to the permutation. Okay, the question is find the probability that A, comic B will perform second. If we want to find the probability of the event, we must need to know the number of the sample space. For the sample space part, we have six people and they perform in different time. That the order matters. So that means five of them, we order them in different ways. Oh, sorry, six of them, we order them in different way. So the sample space, the number of sample space is six factorial. Uh, and how about the top part? So the A, I put A here, comic B will perform second. So I have six position. Mm. And B will perform second here. This is a B and the rest of them, A, C, D, E, F they can perform in these five positions. That means um, this is one, this is five uh, op uh, options or choices, choices, four choices, three choices, two choices, one choices. That is one times five factorial, five factorial, one times five factorial. And then remember divided by number of sample space, which is six factorial equals one over six. Next one, B, comic A will perform third and comic C will perform fifth. So, um, mm -hmm. 
Okay, here. So the second one, uh, comic, uh, comic A perform third. That means here is A and uh, C will perform fifth. Here is C. So these two have only one choices and the rest of them, uh, which is B, D, E, F, four of them, we arrange them in different ways. So number B, P event E equals four of them, arrange them randomly. And uh, this two just have one choice times one times one. Bottom part is the number of sample space is uh, six factorial equals four factorial six times five times four factorial and then one over 30. Next one, C. The comedians will perform in the following order, B, A, C, E, F, uh, B, A, C, F, E, D. How many number of this? Oh, I should say, this is just a one order. That means the number of this event occur only can be one. That means number C. Mm -hmm. uh, I put C here. Okay, C, probability of this event occur equals one over the number of sample space is six factorial. And use a calculator to find the one over six factorial. Oh, I have the answer here. And uh, next question is comic A or comic D will perform last. I mentioned about or. If you see or, you add two probabilities together. So comic A and comic D uh, perform last. So I still use this six positions. Uh, so the last position could be A or D. Uh, for A to be the la last performer, so the the front uh, the the front of the, the five positions should be let's see. Five factorial. Mm. Because we have five positions, I can uh, put uh, the, the letters, or oh, put uh, let the people, five people except A to perform. So there are five factorial ways to uh, arrange them in different ways. And the bottom part should be the sample space that A performed last. Uh, so sample space is six factorial. And the plus the comic D perform last. If the D perform last and the rest of other performers can perform in the front of five positions, that's a five factorial. I can times one because the last person D here performed just, uh, we just have one choice or we don't need to have that. And uh, the bottom part is six factorial equals six factorial two times five factorial uh, equals mm, two times five factorial, six times five factorial. Canceled out, I got one over three. Okay, so remember when you see or, that means you add the two possibilities together. Uh, let's move on. Uh, second part is compute the probability with the uh, combinations. In the example, we see a club consists of five men and seven women. Three members are selected at random to attend the conference. So we select three from 12 because five men and seven women. Uh, you, oh, so 
five plus seven totally we have 12 people we select three from two do we need to order uh, these three people no we just uh, select them and let them to attend the conference uh, we don't the the matter doesn't oh the order doesn't matter so the probability of uh, the event happened i don't know what kind of event equals the number of the event could uh, could be occur divided divided by the sample space right now the sample space is select three member from 12 people and without order uh, ordering them so that is, means two a uh, 12 c three select a 12 uh select three person from 12. uh let's see the first question three men so when i select three member from uh 12 people and uh, all of them or three of them are all men that means the top part the n of the n of e equals we select uh, uh, three men from five men which is five c three divided by the sample space is 12 c three and use the formula of the co uh, combinations which is five factorial five minus three factorial divided by three factorial 12 factorial divided by uh, five uh, 12 minus three factorial and uh, find the answer oh oh my Mm, let's see. This is the chapter. Where are you? Oh, we're back. Okay. We didn't miss too much things. All right. So simplify this or find the answer of this. We have five factorial over five minus three is two factorial times three factorial and then we time we multiply something since this part is in the bottom i need i want to make them on the top we need to flip it so upside down that means 12 minus three is nine factorial times three factorial divided by 12 factorial and simplify this equals five factorial equals five times four over two factorial equals two. I just put two there and times three factorial. Oh, sorry, the bottom, the top part have, has the three factorial and uh, cancel them out. Okay, two and four can be canceled out. Okay, the another part is nine factorial times three factorial. So 12 factorial equals 12 times 11 times 10 times uh, nine factorial canceled out. So five, uh, three factorial equals three times two times one times two times one, three times two equals six six can be canceled out with two and here five times two is ten canceled out i have one over two times eleven is twenty two okay it's so messy here so you calculate by yourself and compare the result uh, with one over twenty two okay next part question is one man and two women you 
uh, you know that the denominator that combinations cannot be uh, modified or the stay the same because choose three from 12. Only the difference is the top part, uh, the numerator, one man and two women. This is woman, this is the event. So the part B, I have space here. The P of this event equals the bottom is still the 12, select uh, three. And the one man and the two women, you see and. If you see and, you multiply. So the bottom part need to multiply how many ways of select one man and uh, the way select two women. And uh, we know that we have five men. That means we select one man from five, five men. And multiply because this is end. Two women from seven women. So seven C two. Remember how to solve this kind of question. The bottom part should be the sample space. The top part multiply the number of one man be selected from five men and uh, two men, uh, two women selected from seven women. So you got this expression and let's simplify this. The top part is uh, five factorial over five minus one divided by one factorial, which is one. Oh, five minus one factorial. Okay, another part is seven factorial over seven minus two factorial times two factorial divided by 12 factorial divided by 12 over, oh, sorry, 12 minus three factorial times three factorial. Uh, we need to simplify this. equals this part. Um, that, so this part I have five. And then this part I have seven times six. And the bottom part I have 12 times 11 times 10. I just to skip some steps. You can do that by yourself. Uh, so right now, what can uh, can I find? We simplify this two two and uh, forty four and uh, oh. Sorry, I think I missed something. Let's figure out uh, where is my mistake. Okay, erase this part. Oh, okay, so the top part is five times mm, two, seven. This is five factorial canceled out. Seven factorial times five factor two factorial. And the top part is seven. Six. Oh, okay. I see. Where is my problem? Mm, this part should be uh, seven times three. Why? Because this is seven. 
factorial over five factorial times two, seven factorial equals seven times six times, uh, times five factorial and canceled out, I got seven times six over two, uh, which is seven times three. Okay, the bottom part is um, 12. times 11 times 10 times nine factorial, because the bottom part is 12 uh, minus three is nine factorial, times three factorial, I canceled out this, three factorial equals three times two times one. So three times two is six. And here I got, uh, oh, I got two. So, Phi two, the bottom part is 42, uh, 44. The top part is seven times three is 21. Okay, that's 21 or 44. Uh, let's move on. The last question of, yes, oh, no, not the last one. The example four, if you are dealt four cards from a shuffled deck of 52 cards, find the probability that the four cards are queens. You need to identify which one should be denominator, which one should be the numerator. So the P of the event E equals, if you dealt the four cards from shuffle deck or deck of 52 cards, does the order matter? No, they didn't mention about the order of the cards. So that means you select uh, four cards from 52. 52, C, four. And what's the numerator, the top part? Find the probability that all four cards are queens. So do you remember the picture of the 52 uh, cards. So four cards are all queens. How many queens cards in these 52? I have, uh, I think we have only four. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we have only four queens. So you select four queens from four queens. That means four C4, select four from four without the uh, re without uh, uh, ordering them. We just uh, select them. We don't need to worry about the order. So C4, C4, uh, four C4 equals four, oh, sorry, equals one. Equals one and the 52 uh, or uh, 52 C4 equals 52 factorial over 52, 52, 52 minus four times factorial times four factorial. We simplify this. 52 factorial divided by 48 factorial times four. And to simplify this, we got uh, 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 times 48 factorial divided by 48 factorial and then times four factorial. Too much things. Okay, four factorial equals four times three times two times one. So simplify this, 52 and four, this one is 13. 41 and three, we have 17. Two, 50, we have 25 left. So this part equals one over 13 
times 17 times 25 uh, times 49. Yeah, and then we should get this number. Uh, let me see. I use my calculator to find the answer. 13 times 17 times 25 times 49. Uh, yes, I got this number and uh, you can make it into the decimal format. Okay, next question. Example five, if you are dealt four cards from a shuffled deck of 52 cards, find the probability of getting three kings and one queen. You see and here. That means we need to multiply. Okay, we put the P of the event here. The N of the E. What's the sample space? You, you are dealt four cards from shuffle deck, 52 cards. So the order doesn't matter. That means 52 C4. This one equals uh, what is the number of if this event happen? What event? Find the probability of getting three kings and one queen. So how many kings in 52 cards? We have four kings. So that means we choose three from four. 4c3, three. we choose three kings from four kings. And, and means multiply, and one queen. There are four queens, queens. So select one queens from four, that means four, c1, divided by 52, c4. And simplify this, four, c3 is four. 4C, what use you use the uh, the formula of the combination? Okay, the bottom part is 52 uh, factorial divided by 52 minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial. The bottom, uh, the top part is 16. And the bottom part is 52 times 51, uh, 51 times 50 times 49 times 48 factorial. Why I expand it like this? Because the bottom part, 52 minus four is 48 factorial they can be canceled. So four factorial equals four times three times two times one. Uh, let's see what can I cancel. Uh, four, 52, 13, three, 51 is 17, two, 50 is 25. That means 16 over 16, uh, 13 times 17 times 25 times 49. Can I cancel something? Uh, if not, we just uh, keep it uh, keep it like this. Mm. Nothing can be canceled. So the uh, approximately equals 0 0.00005. Nine, one. So this is the final answer. Okay. This is all about the chapter 11.5, right? Yeah, 11.5. If you have any question, uh, please let me know. Okay, have a nice day.